Hey, Farnies, it's Miss Ray, and I'm going to read you another book that I really like. It is called The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins, and it makes me think about math, and it makes me think about eating cookies. So I might have to make some cookies after this. Here's the front cover. And here's the cat and the mom who's made all the cookies. And this is for Jack and Charles. All right, here you go. I've made some cookies for tea, said Ma. Good, said Sam and Victoria. We're starving. Share them between yourselves, said Ma. I made plenty. That's six each, said Sam and Victoria. They look as good as Grandma's, said Victoria. They smell as good as Grandma's, said Sam. Nobody makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, and the doorbell rang. Bing bong. It was Tom and Hannah from next door. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. Look at their faces. Okay, come on in. That's three each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Tom. And look as good, said Hannah. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma. And the doorbell rang. Bing bong. It was Peter and his little brother. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. That's two for each, said Victoria and Sam. They look as good as your grandma's, said Peter, and smell as good. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma. And the doorbell rang. Bing bong. Now let's do a quick math review. She started off with 12 cookies, right? Because originally Sam and Victoria were each going to have six apiece, and six times two is 12. And then their two little friends came and they had to break it down again. So half of six is three. So everyone was getting three. And three cookies times four people means 12 cookies. So here we've got these two little guys, Peter and his little brother. And that means there's six kids and 12 cookies. And that means only two cookies for every kid. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Uh-oh. The doorbell rang. Bing bong. It was Joy and Simon with their four cousins. Come in, said Ma, you can share the cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six new kids. One, two, three, four, five, six old kids. How many cookies for each kid? If we have six plus six is 12 and we have 12 cookies. One cookie per kid. At least you get a cookie, that's good. That's one each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Joy. And look as good, said Simon. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma. As the doorbell rang, bing bong. Oh my goodness. <gasps> and rang, bing bong. They're all looking at the door. What do we do now? We only have 12 cookies. Oh dear, said Ma, as the children stared at the cookies on the plate, on their plates. Look, everyone's got a cookie. One cookie. Perhaps you'd better eat them before we open the door. We'll wait, said Sam. Sam's a good kid. It was Grandma with an enormous tray of cookies. How nice to have so many friends to share them with, said Grandma. It's a good thing I made a lot. Yay, Grandma! Grandma to the rescue. And no one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Bing bong. So you see what I'm talking about? It's all about math and it's all about cookies. I might have to go make some cookies. What about you? 
Have fun today. Only three more days of school, and then it's summertime. Woo, summertime. Take care, Fernbank. Talk to you soon.